so what you have to do you have to rotate this uh, axis at an angle of 45 degrees uh, in such a way that the apex is nearer to v okay so select the rotate command click the solid do a right click rotate pick the apex and type in 45 okay, so that rotates the uh, pyramid by 45 degrees and move it do f8 and press it okay now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to mark all the uh, names on the uh, pyramid so type here text click somewhere near the corner and type in a alphabet and enter i just click once again click text type somewhere on the near the corner type somewhere uh, click somewhere below type in your alphabet A and press and press and click somewhere outside of the letter okay. and pick the letter do right click do go to properties and here it says text type change it to 5 so that you can see the alphabet here okay. now do copy select the object with 1 2 and 3. Okay. Double click on the letter and change the name. Do backspace, type in B, type some. Click somewhere. Double click. Backspace C. Click outside of that. Close this properties box that I don't need. Click on the letter, backspace, or delete, and type in D. And click somewhere outside. Okay. So then do a copy and select the letter, move this up, A, and here also A, and just double click, delete this, and type in A dash comma v dash from your keyboard and similarly type here c dash comma d dash and click somewhere outside okay. and again do it copy with A right click select the base point move it to the apex escape double click on the letter do a delete or backspace and type in O for the apex click somewhere outside select O again select the letter do a copy select somewhere the letter and move it in the front view press escape double click on O and type in O dash backspace and type in O dash click somewhere up there okay so that names all the points in the front view now for uh, again uh, we are copy we are going to copy all these letters in the second stage let's copy pick the object right click pick the object and click somewhere over here one escape again do copy pick a dash b dash right click somewhere and this will be your a dash b dash again click copy two letters right click c dash d dash 
at this state by this moving it little bit I see that if we copy B, right click, copy both of them simultaneously, A and B. Just click on B and move it slightly down. Next one that is C and B. Select, copy. Select a base point somewhere and it is C and D. And similarly, you just click all these points again, do a copy and select a base point somewhere. So it is A here, escape, click the escape, and click move, click V. Right click, select the base point and B here. Copy. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just copying all the here and here. Copy B. Oh, so, so because to construct the final front view, you will need all these points. Okay. So now drop projectors from all the points. So starting with O, and drop the projector on the X Y line because O dash is on the X Y line. Okay. Similarly for so O dash, O C dash, G dash, all are on X Y line. So now next drop the projector from C. Okay. And intersection. Again, line B in the intersection. Okay. So, just again, I'm going to copy. Just to copy O, right click, select a base point. And this is your O dash. Select the line. Copy, right click, right click, uh, select the base point. And this is D dash, and this is. C dash, you just copy it and then later edit it. So delete the C dash part, your D dash somewhere outside, and this is your C dash. C dash. Similarly, draw projectors from A vertically up. Make sure ortho is on, so press F8 up. And from B also vertically up. And from A dash, draw a horizontal projector. Okay. And then trim the extra unnecessary line so that the clutter is avoided. So, 1, 2, and Enter and then do a copy. Take the point, right click, select the base point one and two. And this will be your A dash. So delete the B dash part. And this is your B dash. So select, delete the A dash. Now join all these points. Now we'll what we'll do? We'll do the visibility. So outline has to be dark, right? So one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Okay, so all these points are dark. So I'm going to make them dark. So do a match properties. Click on the properties. Click on the line. And 
select all the outlet ID 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The outlet is done. Okay. Now the observer is over here. Okay. So the gray space is completely visible to the observer. So make that dark. So join C dash and B dash. To match quickly match properties select and paste and then do right click and enter okay so now the you can just slightly move the c dash you can just overlap it okay. now one more edge is remaining that is o dash a dash so join o dash a dash now you have already studied the rules of visibility See two solid lines cannot cross each other. So since we already established B dash A dash as visible, O dash A dash has to be hidden. So we have click match properties, and select this hidden line and paste it on. Okay. So that completes the third stage uh, of the solid. So that also completes the uh, first part of the tutorial. Now after we are done uh, with this, what we are going to do? We are just going to also show you how to take a, take a printout. Okay. Now, uh, whatever dim small dimensions are required, that also you can finish it. So, click on dimension, uh, click here and here. Uh, so that is 40. The base edge is given. And one more thing is given is the uh, angle of the angular dimension of the axis. So select angular dimension. Select the edge. Select the axis. And mark the angular dimension somewhere that is 45 degrees. Okay, and the apex is nearer to V. Now, after this is done, what we are going to do is we are going to take a printout. So, I will show you how to convert this into PDF because in AutoCAD exam, when you submit your solution, you have to arrange the entire solution on the, on the screen and then you have to submit it in a PDF format. Okay, so select plot command okay select uh, autocad pdf hider uh, select change in window and then select the uh, whole of your whatever three stages which you have constructed click here and uh, make sure you do the center uh, center the plot change the orientation to landscape okay and then after you are done everything just check if everything looks okay just do a preview check okay so everything looks good so after you if it looks good just click on the print command okay and nav navigate to your folder wherever you are saving your work So this is your PDF and this is your final solution. Okay. I hope you will be able to do this and going to just and that is all for the tutorial as as of today.